Welcome to Drawing with Mrs. Burke today. We are going to be drawing a fish today. Sneak peek, here's our fish. I decided to use green and blue today. So, let me tell you what we need today. We need a pencil and an eraser, a marker, outline, blue crayon, green crayon, something under here that's sticking on my paper. And that's all we need. So you'll need a pencil, an eraser, an outline, marker, a blue crayon, and a green crayon. A piece of paper. Now go get those and come back and we will start our fish. You need to put your paper landscape again. I've been doing a lot of those lately. Now the fish body is pretty big, but you need to leave room up here for a fin, and we need to leave room back here for a tail. So we're gonna, it's kind of like an egg shape. So we're gonna do this like that, like that, kind of like an egg. It looks like a lemon, but it works. Okay, so this is his body. And you're going to make a fin over here. And I'm not liking how I positioned that. So I'm going to actually make his body a little bigger up front. So it's not positioned so... So... Yeah. Okay. I felt like his face had to come out farther. There we go. See? You just have to, you know, change as you go. Okay, here's our body. Here's a fin on top. We're going to add a tail. Our tail on the back. It looks like a fan to me. It almost looks like a seashell. I'm going to make one of these like a feather. Now my paper ends right here so I'm going to have to be careful. And I'm going to bring this one here and it's going to end right there. There's two. And this one's coming out and it's going to end right there. There's three. So that's his tail. Now his fin in the middle is kind of like his tail. It's just this one's a little smaller. So you're going to do uh, this. Kind of connects. So then you're going to draw them. This one's a little smaller. And this one's even a little smaller. And if you don't get it just right, that is okay. This one has a lot of lines, a lot of curvy lines. I've noticed with all of the fish and the sea animals, a lot of curvy lines. Now we're going to add two eyes. And we're going to put the eyes right here in the front. Then we're going to put a mouth right here. It's going to be awfully big and it's going to go right there. All right, there's our mouth. We're going to add lines to our fins. Oh, we didn't put a bottom fin. We need a bottom fin right there. So we need to put lines in our fins like this. Don't do too many because we have to uh, do different colors in here. So you don't want to do too many. No, like a zillion. Okay, and you want to do lines also in here. Now, like, remember that every other of these are going to be a different color, so you don't want them too close together, or you will be coloring for a very long time. So the fins need to have lines in them, and also the tail. So the tail has lines as well.
Um, you can have these match up, like, if you want, or you don't have to, like, anyway, they don't have to be perfectly matched. Okay, so now we have our fish body, our fin on the top, our um, one fin in the middle, we've got two eyes and a mouth, I'm going to put two eyebrows like that. We need a fin on the bottom. Then we added lines to these two fins and lines to the tail. Now we get to outline. If you're not done drawing, I hope you've learned by now to pause this and then you start it each time. So you need to outline everything you did in pencil. See, all my lines are so off, but that's okay. Remember, it's okay. We have an eraser for that. Now, these big lines, I'd like to turn my paper because my... Uh, I like to turn my body kind of with my arms. Okay. Here we go. Connect that with the face. Now we're going to outline the fin. And draw these lines. Oh, I might have drawn too many lines there. Now we've got the tail. Tail and tail. Lines in the tail. And get ready with your eraser because we're going to erase those pencil lines. Erase these pencil lines. And then we can color our fish. Now I decided to color it green and blue, but you can color it any color you'd like. There are so many different colors of fish out there. I'm sure whatever color you chose, you could probably find a real fish that color. sometimes because the paper crinkles. Okay, I think. Oh, maybe the face. A little more. Mm, check it out and look and see if it looks good to you. I'm going to mess with my eraser stuff. Okay, there's our fish. Now we get to color. I think coloring is so fun. Okay, now green and blue. I'm going to do my main part of my fish green and this fin blue. So I think what I'll do is maybe do the blue first. So when I color the green, whatever. So I'm going to do this fin blue. I'm going to do those blue. And do you have to stay in the lines right here? No, because it's all blue. You have to stay in the outside lines, right? Yes, but not um, these inside lines. Okay, so that's blue. Now what we're going to do with the fins and the tail, every other one is blue. So this one's blue, this one's blue, Let's start in this one. This one's blue. This one gets to be blue. You're just going to do every other one. It's 
like that little stripe pattern okay so you sit and do that and do every other now I suppose if you chose a different color fish I think there's fish that are rainbow fish there are even the story rainbow fish that's made up um, you could color this all kinds of colors have it be a rainbow fish that'd be cool you could have any kind of colors you wanted that'd be very pretty so I'm gonna have blue here and skip and do blue here and then blue here And then it's the second one down, so it's this one. Just remember to kind of follow a pattern. You can't change up patterns on each uh, tail fin pattern, whatever that is. Tail, it's not a feather. In each part of the tail, it needs to be in the same pattern. So the bottom one needs to be blue. Then the next one. And the next one. Okay, now, see, all you have left now is the green. All you have left is the green. Then you color the green. I'm going to let you color that part, and you get to color all of that green. Green, green, green. See where you get to color the green? And your fish will end up looking like this. Wasn't that fun today to color a fish? Who knew you'd draw fish today? Now you can draw all kinds of fish. Hope you have a good night, and I'll see you next time on Drawing with Mrs. Burke.